What's going on, man? What's up, everybody? It's White Boy Live Down Radio. I tried to go live just a second ago, but uh, I don't know what's happening, man. We're going to see what happens here, man, because uh, on this one here, there's a story I didn't want to tell yet. There's stories on my channel that, uh, that I, man, I have some crazy stories, some crazy stories, um, but I can't tell them. Well, I could tell them whenever I want, but I guess I don't want to tell them until there's more subs, man, um, which ain't fair to everybody. But I mean, these are, this is, I'm talking about some crazy, crazy stories, uh, but I'll give you a little taste. It's not too crazy today. I'm going to do a live story today. It's not my thing. The only time, the only reason I'm doing this is because uh, the other day, Friday, I uploaded a video and it was, uh, I don't know, the audio was all messed up. People kept saying, I, I, I can't help that, man. But, um, you know, everybody knows I watched the, uh, the prison John. I used to watch the prison John. All these dudes are weirdos, man. Uh, there's only a select few I really watch now, to be honest with you. Um, but, I, you know, he, I did time. So, of course, it's going to, you know, it's going to catch my eye or whatever. What's up, Flirty Rick's in the house, man? Always first. What's up, man? What's up, Mario? From Tampa to Chicago now and New Orleans tapping in trying to come home. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. So, listen, man, I'm going to tell a story. Um, you know, I don't want to talk about the prison genre too much because, you know, I only mess with a couple people, man. You know, I'm trying to bang out a couple more interviews and – once I get these interviews done and you know, it'll probably be a wrap. So I'm not talking about it. If, if I've said, we're going to do an interview, man, please don't take this as I'm talking to you. We're, we're going to do it. And I mess with you. I'm just saying, um, this video here, man, I can guarantee you no one has, you're never going to hear this on any other channel. I have a whole bunch of other stories. You're never going to hear on any other channel. I can guarantee it. But I mean, I want the audience to get up there, man, because these are going to be bangers. But, uh, I'll tell you a quick, a little, a little teaser of, of, kind of where I'm going with it. Um, before I even say it, um, man, I got, you know, I'm not no perfect Christian in any way, shape, or form. But hey, man, I always, I always rock. There's a guy behind me, if you can see it. You know, it's in my house everywhere. And before I tell this story, we're not going to pray or nothing, but I had to bring the Bible over here. All right. It's just to put my hand on it and just, just so y'all know I'm not lying. So for this, for this story right here, if I lie for views, if I lie for YouTube, let me burn in hell. All right. Now that we got that out the way, here's a quick one right here, right? Uh, I was in OPP and just the everyday weird shit. Yeah, hard to explain. So this is a quick one, man. Uh, I did something to the warden's wife that no other inmate did. That's a promise right here. Official certified on white boy lockdown radio it was my first bid in prison. Okay. And no, I didn't bang her. I didn't bang her because somebody might've done that before. Okay. I was on something called outside grounds. All right. When you're in prison, they give you these, these lame jobs. Um, nobody wants to do them. Um, this time in prison, this, this bid that I was doing my second bid, I would get out of, every piece of work that they would throw at me. We were doing power moves. We knew the COs, this and that never had to work beast with it. Right. The first bid was different location. Didn't have that angle. Um, so Hey, they were working me. Um, and one of the jobs that I had was outside grounds for everybody who's been in, you know what I'm talking about for the ones that haven't been in, you know, they, they'll put you in the kitchen. They put you on inside grounds. And this part, and this time of my bid, inside grounds used to suck because they give you a bag and a glove, and you go pick up the, uh, the cigarette butts. It's when they sell cigarettes, and everybody would smoke cigarettes. Everybody, those weird yellow packs. And uh, if if you if you you know pissed off one of the COs or whatever, man, they're gonna uh, they, they tell you they give you the broom and say go sweep the sun off the sidewalk. That, that that's real fun. But uh, that's inside grounds. For outside grounds, they give you like a you, – so you go – you leave the gate kind of, barely leave the gate. 
inside grounds, you know, inside the prison fence and then outside would be, you know, barely out it. Like, okay, so you get the bag and the glove or you sweep the, the sun off the sidewalk and you might weed whack the inside line of the fence. So I'm going to weed whack the outside line of the fence because my custody was just a little bit lower than the inside dude. Okay. So I had, it's not a privilege. You, you, you get to go outside and do more weed whacking. Okay. But, uh, for anybody who doesn't know this, I don't know how other states do it, California or all these other states, but in Florida, I would I would assume it's like this everywhere, but I don't know. Let me know in the comments. There's prisons and around the prison, okay, like like it's a big piece of land. You have the prison there and you have these trailers, man. Um, it's like a, I don't know, a, a regular trailer. And certain correction officers can live there super cheap. I mean, obviously the warden, the assistant warden, um, you know, maybe some sergeants, lieutenants, stuff like that. Um, I, I guess they get like a little bit of a, uh, I have no idea how it goes. All I know is they live there and it's, it's, it's way cheap. It's, way cheaper than any rent that you that you would ever find you know anywhere anywhere okay it's the state assisted thing but you get it so and these people like literally live there so maybe they have a thing where if they take the the, the double wide or whatever then they're on call for whatever i don't know i'm just painting the picture all right anyhow back to the story so i'm weed whacking and like i have to do the outside of the fence and crap like that they make me do all these things. So, of course, the COs in the trailers, they get their stuff weed whacked. And, man, some COs, when you're on outside grounds and stuff, some of them are, are – they watch you like hawks. They don't want you doing nothing. And then some of them are just – they're, they're just like, you know, more relaxed with it, checking the phone. You know, they would just look at the phone. And every now and then, hey, what are you doing? And, and like they're doing something. It depends who you get. That's that's no matter what job that you get in prison. So I'm on the weed. I, I got the weed whacker. All right. I'm down for a couple of years now, man. And smash a like. I'm down for a couple of years at this point, and I got the weed whacker, and I'm going. I'm going from trailer to trailer. We're doing the lieutenants, whatever. We get to the wardens, okay, and. I'm looking for the CO. He's checking his phone. I'm hitting uh, all around this this warden's house. You know what I mean? Looking around, whatever. Straight convict mode. And I see a hamper outside. It's like a little driveway. And there's a door, that the trailer door right here. Uh, we whacked everything. And, you know, you're blowing it. You're weed whacking it. Basic uh, uh, lawn maintenance stuff. But there's a hamper right there. I've been down for a couple of years now. So I put the weed whacker down. I creep to the hamper. I sift through it. I found me some panties. Okay, I'll get me a big whiff. <sighs> Had to do it. You know what I mean? Um, and all the brothers were laughing at me. Everyone's cracking up. But hey, man, I had it. I had, I had to smell me something, man. It's been, it's been a couple of years. Um, man, but I'll tell you what. Them, those motherfuckers there, man, they laughed so hard because I sniffed the panties that, man – they kept dry snitching on me. So I ended up snapping on a couple of them. I'm like, man, shut the fuck up. Because they, oh, yeah, big mess, what the panties on. And uh, I ended up snapping, man. I almost got into it with one of the black dudes. But finally, I snapped so hard that they stopped, you know, I'm like, man, tell people, man, but keep it on the low. And uh, they were just clowning about it, what, whatever. But um, listen, man, hey, look, I was down. Don't judge me. I ain't, ain't had no woman in a long time. But um, what I'm saying is this, man. I originally made this for the title, the live messed up, but I originally put on here institutionalized was the title before the internet went. You know, when you're in prison, no matter what you're doing, I just gave you a, a panty sniffing story, right? You know, but a part of me did it because I want to get over on police. All right, and if they put you in the kitchen, you're going to drink all the milks. You know you're not supposed to because you want get to over, get over on the police. You know, it becomes the way you think, man. And uh, 
institutionalized, you know, when you think of the, when you think of that word, people think, oh, you, you're leaning on, or you, you have to uh, lean on the state or, you know, state assistance or something like that. But I mean, it's not really, it's not that institutionalized, man, is when you do so much time, you, you, the way, the way that you think is, uh, is all jacked up because you're, you're, you're constantly trying to, uh, get over on the law. You're constantly trying to, uh, you know, it could be anything, man. You can come out on the streets and cause you've been in prison a, around a whole bunch of alpha males, you know, it's not, it's not normal, man. Every, everybody's in there letting their nuts hang. Everybody, everybody wants to be the alpha male and stuff like that. So you're always like tense, man. You're always like, uh, you're ready to go. And when you come to the streets, certain situations, certain uh, instances, when you deal with people, you th the way you think, man, you, you snap and, and you scare people, man. And uh, sometimes it's not even, you, you don't even slap the shit out of them sometimes. You just yell at them. They get scared. Uh, but it's the way you think, man. And uh, institutionalized is, is crazy, man. Uh I mean, I would have never sniffed that chick's panties uh, if I was on the streets. Um, but hey, I had to get over on the police. And plus, I wanted to smell them, but uh, it was what it was. You know what I mean? But institutionalized crazy thing, man. It's happened to me a lot of times out here on the streets. It gets better. The longer you're out, the better it is because you're out. You leave that thinking there, you know what I mean? But man, I snap on people sometimes, um, you know, you don't want to, no one can get, get over on you, this and that. Um, when my wife goes to Publix, I hide the brownies and the honey buns from the kids. Now I'm just playing. I don't, I don't go that far with it, but seriously, man, you gotta break the, you gotta break the thought process, man. And I don't know, man, people don't talk about it. It ain't an easy thing to do. Um, it's hard to do because the only person that can really check you on that. Is somebody who thinks like that. Like, you know, one of my buddies one time, he's like, bro, chill out, man. It's only 20 bucks. You're going to kill him? And I'm just like, no, he's got to give him money. And uh, he's like, bro, we well, ain't in prison no more, bro. Relax. Like, like, relax, dude. The dude's good for the money. And it's like, I had to, he had to check me. I'm just like, all right, you better have it. And uh, whatever, man. Uh, it's crazy, man. But uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a hard thing to break is what I'm saying. Institutionalized, man. Y'all know about it. Say it in the comments. 10 people, 10 likes. That's what's up. Let me get to some comments. My wife's probably going to kill me for telling y'all about the story. And I hope it don't go viral, man, because I don't want everybody knowing that I smell the panties. I really don't care. The warden might get mad, but fuck him too. What's up with the mouse? Get to the comments, man. What up, Slide Boss? Luke Churchill. Just go. <laughs> they was jealous. They was they were hating, man. They were they were hating. And I buried them bitches too, so no one else can smell. I swear to God, man. That's a true story. I swear to God. And man, my whole bid, the whole bid. I never it never left me. It never left me because people are always like, man, man, man you crazy, man. And, and listen, I'm not going to lie. She wasn't no dime. She wasn't no dime. But come on, it was the warden, bro. It was his wife. Like, that's like, it's, it's almost as good as I did bang her. You know what I mean? And trust me, the gossip got so bad that the CO started messing with me. They were laughing about it, too. But they would, you know, by the laundry room and stuff, they'd be like, hey, I heard I heard you sniff the words uh the wife's panties. I'm like, man, I don't know what you're talking about. Whoever told you that's lying. And uh they'd be messing with me and stuff like that. Um, but man, hey, I don't give a who cares? I'm in prison. Where's Big Sid at? He would have loved this story. Shout out to Big Sid, man. Y'all check the interview out. Salute to Big Sid. That's my dude, man. Hey Mario, are you in? What's up, Nick? I see you, man. How the the broad, how'd she look? Man, she was, I don't know, man. I guess she was jail cute. 
I don't know. You know, if a CO, she could be like, if you if you say she's an eight inside prison, she's probably a three on the streets. This is the way it goes. So in prison, I won't even give the, I won't even tell you all the jail uh, number, but I give her like a, a seven in prison for prison. So that tells you how she looked. But hey, it was what it was. It was what it, I had to do it. And beer goggles. Robbie Gasper, where's oh that's who said that one. Yeah, I man, I try to go live, y'all, before this uh this live here, but the internet's been messed up. I think it's this webcam. I, I plugged the USB on the other side on accident. And I think that's what happened to the uh the Friday's video. It got it got jacked up because the audio playback was slow. One of my subs was telling me, but uh if this is good, right? People can hear me good. I'm not behind or not like that. I can't pack my bowl right now. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, she ain't had no shit stains, man. Or no blood either. No, nah, I, I peeped them. I peeped them. But, man, I, <clears throat> I used to mess with the women CEOs a lot. Um, I'm not going to get into too many stories right here. I, I got to leave them for the channel. I got a lot of crazy stories with the women CEOs in there. Um I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and give you a little sneak peek right now. Myself, I never banged. I'm not gonna lie, especially holding the Bible. I never banged no CO inside of prison. I uh, hear a lot of people say that this and that. It seems like everybody banged one with the prison with the prison shows. Everybody banged one. Uh, truth be told, um, whether or, whether or not I could have banged one. Um, which I, which I could have, I, I didn't do it for so many reasons. Um, two, the two worst things in prison, the two things that you will get super hated on in prison, super hated on, I'm talking about it's a freaking headache, um, is a cell phone, but no, 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 no. In, in, in order would be the number one woman, Bang on a CO, haters left, right, behind you, sideways, northwest, east, west, southwest, everywhere, and plenty of them trying to mess all your game up, hating on you on uh, every possible way, and a cell phone. Um, so I'm not going to get into any stories on this live right here, but uh, man, I used to I used to do a couple things with. Uh, some some of them okay but uh no i never banged no co never um i wouldn't have it would be hard if it was inviting me and it was just me and her it'd been very hard but i didn't want that drama because man you could have something going on already you have something going on already to where let's just say to where Maybe you don't have to call mom or dad or brother or sister or wife to send you cash all the time. Maybe you have something going on to where you're straight. Maybe maybe you have something going on to where you can say, hey, dad, do you need 100? Mom, do you need 200? Brother, do you need 50? Sister, do you need 75? Wife, do you need something? Maybe you can have to sit like that. The second you start banging a CO, forget about all that. Forget about all that. Because people have already been hating on you the whole time that you had something going on. But the second you start, because these, man, these dudes, man, it, the prison, uh, people in prison, man, uh, love is, um, love is, is a strong word. You know, um, I, you know, I love my family. I love my wife. Um, that word love in prison is, uh, it's, it's, uh, not, it's kind of watered down. All right. You will hear a lot of people say, Hey man, I love you, bro. I love you, bro. You know what I mean? And, uh, they don't even know each other. Okay. Or, uh, not just that these dudes start banging punks and they really, they really, maybe it's not watered down, but it's, uh, it's, uh, 
I, I love my wife for a reason. I didn't just meet her. Okay, I love her. I, I have real love for her. Okay, uh, you know, these dudes, they love everybody. Okay, start banging a punk and they really get in love like 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 that with, 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 with the punks. Like the butthole must be that good or something like that to where they want to stat, they want to do all this craziness. Now, these dudes... The women, the COs, I can't give you all the game on this video right here, but these COs will really torture, mentally torture people to where they, they're not, they may not even be banging the CO, but they, but, but now they love the chick because it's just like a, it maybe there was some flirting going on. Now they think they have all the game, but at the same time, the sometimes the women CEOs are scared to even work there. So being flirty and friendly is the way they get by. And when they slam the door, they're like, she's just like, man, I hate that fucking dude. He's always fucking looking at my ass. He's like, God damn. You never know. But the dudes are, are man, it gets crazy. I explain that in a different video. That's a whole, that's why I never banged one. I'm trying to tell you, you can hit it on fast. Quick way up out of there. Everything you got going on, done. And then you, you, know, you might have something going on where you're straight. You're sending mom, dad, you know. Two racks on a month. I'm just saying. But now, you, hey, man, can I, you give me $25. I ain't got no deodorant. All because you thought that you were in love. No way. Man, I ain't seen no comments. Or is this thing messed up again? There it goes. Oh, there, there's a whole bunch of them. My bad. Yeah, they, do, they are jealous over punks. It's crazy, bro. I'm trying to tell you. I got a uh, Punks and Sissies video dropping on. I think it's Tuesday. I don't know. My comments got jacked up. What's up, Cheek Buster? Yeah, they'll shut that down. They'll shut it down quickly, man. Uh, I'm trying to tell you, man. I'm trying to tell you. You got to be real careful with uh, with uh, with uh, with the women in there. Um, yeah, I, 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 man, I'm not one of the, I'm not one of the channels that tries to tell out anything going on. So I, to be honest, why I don't like going live. Okay, so I'm trying to think about what I'm saying. Um, so when it comes to the women, man, uh, I had things, things were going on, but there was, uh, there was, I never took it there. And, and there was one time that I think I could have took it there. Okay. I thought of myself, but then I always tell myself, Hey bro, you're thinking like one of those weirdos, bro. Stop, stop that. You're not in love. Stop, 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 Matt. Pull, pull out and run. Stop. Stop. And then my buddy would be like, bro, I'm telling you, man, you, you can get that. And I'm, then he'd just like jacking up the thoughts. I'm like, man, God damn. No. And then uh, so that was a crazy one there, but I didn't do it. But he kept telling me. He kept telling me. He kept telling me. My buddy is on the channel. JD, he's like, bro, I'm telling you, man. And uh, man, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it because I didn't want to get locked down and get crazy because uh, – you know, it's easy right now, you know, hey, look, if I if I was a single man right now, I can go to the 7-Eleven, you know, sit out at 7-Eleven and, and, and buy a couple numbers or whatever, okay? Get some guts if, if I really wanted to. If that, you know, it's right down the street if I wanted to, okay? If I was single, my wife's already getting mad, I'm mad at me for this one, okay? But in prison, you, you, you don't have that luxury of uh, seeing a lot of, you know, I can sit by the 7-Eleven and look at all the asses, okay, and pick pick the one that I want to go get. In prison, you don't have it like that. You have whatever COs are there. That's why the jails, the the the, the jail rating. It, she might be an eight in jail. She might be jail cute. She might be an eight, but on the street, she's probably like a three because but you got to take what you can get. And the dudes go cuckoo for cuckoo puffs because. They feel like there's a connection and then they want to hate and they want to fight and all type of crate. It gets banana cakes. This shit is bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. What's up with these comments? They they do roll in looking like straight females and I've seen the heads turn just from a fool down a couple times. I got to go to work in four hours. I'm going to lay down for a bit. Hey, Cheap Buster, man, the comments are jacked. I see you in here, man. Much respect, bro. Get that money, Cheap Buster. You've been around with the channel a long time. They, they are ratchet. 
You got to think with the right head and ain't no rules in love and war, especially war. Yeah, that's, that's facts, man. Yeah, it gets, it goes down, man. Um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's so hard to explain. Um, you really have to live it, man. If I think about it good enough, man, I'll put it in an upcoming video, but, uh, I never did. Um, and again, I, I try not to, I try not to talk down on no channels or nothing like that. And I'm going to even stop saying that, but, uh, you have to take it from, take it from where I'm coming from. I, I, I've been in prison a few times, nothing to be proud of, but, but I've been there a couple times. Okay. You know, I lived that life. I done all that. Uh, so when I watch the stuff, the shows, and when everyone's ba bagged one, where, where was your drama behind that? Damn, you were at a camp that nothing I'm talking about happened. Well, that's a little weird because everywhere I went, that's what I'm talking about. So where was your drama? Where uh, two and two is not four? Is all I'm saying. Hey, somebody just donated, man. I appreciate it. I, I, this is pissing me off, man. You're going to have to give me a second because I can't not thank somebody. Let me get a different mouse, man. Hold on, y'all. Especially whoever donated. One second. My bad. All right, hold on, man. Let me get some of these comments. Chad, what's up, man? Thank you, man. I appreciate that, Chad. Good looking out, bro, for the 10 spot, man. Y'all want to, man, y'all want to hit it up, hit it off YouTube. It's dollar sign, white boy, radio. Support your local white boy. Appreciate that, Chad. Shout out to you, man. But yeah, man. So like I'm like I'm not, you know, I don't want to. People get mad, man. Um, people get mad. It's weird, you know. It. It. it I mean, I, I just said complete. I just said some com, some complete real stuff. Okay, I, I I'm telling you that it's a lot of drama, and and there's people in prison in the comments agreeing with me. So. Obviously, where I was at, it was the same. The situation that I'm speaking about with the, with the jail women, you guys are recognizing what I'm saying is happening where you're at. So when I watch the shows, you you can't have all the cigarettes and all the phones and all the Tucci and be banging the chick. No, 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 no. That doesn't make any sense. You know, I'm a real convict, man. So. So that's why in these lives, I say, man, I don't watch too many of the dudes because, man, I, I, man I, I've been getting burnt my whole life. Uh, I don't like a lot of chances, man. You have – if you lie to me, then then you, you're dead to me, man. Um, that's it. Uh, of course, especially if I don't know you and I'm, and I'm giving you viewership and I'm, and I'm supporting you or even if I don't – you know. Then uh, come on, man. Um, that's why I, I ain't never lied on this thing. But if I if I'm gonna tell something wild, I grab the Bible. Who else is doing that? I don't see it. And I said, let me burn in hell, God. You'll never catch another one doing that. Shout out to Nick, man. I appreciate it. Thank you, Nick. Damn, they came through the 25 spot. Appreciate that, man. From NorCal, big bro. What's up, C Smith? I'm waiting for someone to start a channel who was. Taken advantage by an extortion, they they had their whole bid. Man, that happens a lot here in Florida, man. Uh, man, it, uh, off top, uh, all the time. Man, I don't want to tell that one. I guess I won't use his name. All right, so I'll tell you a quick story. Uh, matter of fact, the dude, yeah, I'll put him out there. I don't care. So 
I was on the streets with this dude, um, and I, and I was uh, I'm only putting them out there because I just remembered that he got mad at me over some petty stuff. I've known this dude a long time, but uh, actually we kind of fell out, so I don't care. I'm not gonna say his name though. But I know I knew somebody. Here we go again. If I'm lying, let me burn in hell. So I know this dude personally, man, and uh, I wasn't in prison or nothing. I was in a county bid, and he come in. Okay, I, I've been. This dude knows my reputation on the streets. And he knows I've been to prison at least one time already, and I've been in and out of jail a lot. So, and I've been in in this dorm a long time. Okay, so he comes in, and I'm uh, I'm already jail comfortable, all that, you know. I'm, I'm probably washing my underwear in the toilet and saying, what's up, man? As he comes in, he's probably like, what the hell are you doing? It's the first time in jail, all right? So, you know, he's like, why are you washing them in the, in the toilet? What do you think? You don't know what's going on. Why? Are you, what do you mean I have to wear shower slides in the shower? So he walks in, and I have to teach him all this. And I'm just like, bro, you don't want to step on babies, this and that. And he orders. He comes to, it comes to his first time ordering, right? And in this jail – they don't have no lockers. They give you a, a tough a tough wire box. Yeah, I thought I had one around here. You know, one of them tough wire. Uh, it's a storage things. It's about this big. Okay, you put your crap in that with the lid. Ain't no lock. Ain't nothing. Okay, you go to wreck if you want to. If you want to, it ain't no combination. You got to break. You just go lift, lift, and I'll take. So hey, it's ration. Um, but anyhow, sure enough, he was getting pressured. Okay. Um, not by the brothers, not like on a extortion game, but they were, they friendly do it. They want to see like where your friendliness is at. Um, no matter where you go, you guys, you guys know what I'm talking about. It's, it's like the, I call it the friendliness test. Hey man, can I get a honey bun or what's up, man? Let me hold something. Let me hold something. Let me hold something. Hey, this, the second that you feed a stray dog, it will continually come to your front door. And in your yard, it'll even shit in your yard, and it'll always look for more food. So do it if you want to. But, hey, he, he kept feeding them stray dogs. He kept feeding them, feeding them, feeding them. They kept coming like crows. Block! Oh, sure enough, I'm just like, man, damn, 50 bucks? What do you got left? You know, he made like a couple goulashes. Couldn't be mad. It could not be mad. Um, and sure enough, he, he, he I'm, I'm sleeping right there. We're in jail. It, it's, it, it's close. You, you, they test my friendliness. Well, there ain't none. You know, kind of hold, I, ain't, I can't stand it. Not ain't nothing. Not can't do it. Not not today. I, I'll think about it. that. Nah. How much for that? Nope. Uh, and and he's just looking at me. And finally, he's figuring it out. And uh, look, one thing that leads to the other. That Tupperware was up under my bunk within a week. Okay, I knew this dude personally from the streets. And uh, man, I remember having a conversation with him in jail. I'm like, man, dude. You got to start living right, bro. I don't know what kind of shit this is. I ain't no war daddy, bro. I'll hold it. But goddamn. And, uh, man, hey, it was Papa Matt. I, I was a war daddy in there for him. And uh, we get out. And I think, I, I think I guess he thought I was going to tell a lot of people whatever happened. You know, we knew a lot of mutual people. I never did until right now on the Internet. But the reason I did it because the dude blocked me on, on social media anyhow because he's a buster. So whatever. Tell him, motherfucker, you got a damn war daddy. How about that? Give a fuck. Smell your wife's panties too. And I'll smash you. Let's get the comments. See, that's institutionalized what I was just doing. I shouldn't have said all that. Yeah, but Jade made it. What does that say? Hey, Nick, I appreciate that, man. I'm, wa I'm waiting for someone. Oh, we already did that. Why are these things not loading? I think it's my mouse. It's not the mouse. No, you guys ain't typing. Last comment I say is LOL from Mario. Is that the last one? Or is this thing way behind? Sometimes it goes behind. Luke's in here. Cheap Buster left. Mario's in here. Robbie's in here. What up, Robbie? Nick Allen's modded up in here. Critter Corner's in here. What's up, Critter Corner? Slowly, Flattery Rick was in here. Don't know what happened to him. But anyhow, man, you know, it 
Damn, Nick. Good looking out, bro. I appreciate that, man. Damn. That's solid as fuck, bro. I appreciate that, man. Fuck this thing getting monetized. You guys made, you guys donated way more money than if this thing had a billion views. So fuck it. It's all on. You can fucking cuss in the comments too. I don't give a fuck. Hey, man. Good looking out, Nick. I appreciate it. What's up, 420? AZ Cartel's in here, man. Check his channel out. He's cool from Arizona. Just, just kicking the bullshit, man. Uh, talking about being institutionalized and war daddies and and fags and uh, and women CEOs and and smelling panties and putting that on the Bible. <laughs> but that's what we're talking about. New comment. All right, I see where they're at. Since I'm in new. And you are around. Uh, yeah, I'm, I ain't too far from Tampa, bro. I'm, uh, I think Tampa's two hours for me, man. I'm in Fort Myers. It's, uh, it's, uh, on the west coast of Florida. <laughs> Shout out, Nick. Hey, are you coming? Are you coming down here, Nick? You. Man, I was—I had some plans to leave from Florida. If I do, if I ever got to, man, you're in Bama, right? You ain't, did you, you didn't leave Alabama, did you? I got to go see Raven, man, my buddy. I did an interview with him on the channel. When I pass out of Florida, you, you got to hit, you got to hit Alabama. After you know, I got to get out that way, man. I had some plans. I was supposed to go to uh, Texas this month but they fell through and uh i was planning on you know i was planning on going through bama and north carolina man that's what me and my lady wanted to do but the whole plans fell through so but we do want to get out man what's up there uh, there you go yeah man if i do i got your email still it's locked in all right mario Man, I'm going to get off here, y'all. It's been 37 minutes. Big shout out to Nick Allen, man. He came through strong on the donations. And so did... So did Chad, man. Much love to everybody that's in here. Um, listen, man. The women's stories are coming Tuesday. I, I think I got a, a, a video about punks and sissies coming on... Uh, I think it's Tuesday. I got a lot of videos, man. Um... Every Tuesday, every Friday, something drops. I got a couple good interviews coming up, a couple good channels. AZ Gartel, we should get up on, on and do something, man. But I got another dude out of California, man. Um, shout out to Javier. Um, the incredible Javier is the guy's channel's name. I'm going to be doing something with him. I'm trying to get up with uh, Dago Viking. I'm trying to get up with uh, Prison POV Splinter. I'd like to get up with Drift Wood 5150. If you, any of you guys are subbed to the, to those channels right there, man, tell them, tell them that I shouted them out, man. Um, who am I forgetting? Uh, there's some other people that I want to help. Um, they have smaller channels, so they want to use my outlet and I'm all good with that, man. Uh, I always help somebody, but, uh, Hey man, I'm out of here. I appreciate everybody, man. Smash the like, share all that stuff, put the bell on. And uh, institutionalized, man. It's a tough subject. But hey, it's real. Stay out. Stay safe. Stay solid. Till the next one.